Let's dive into the fascinating story of African origins as told by the Bible. The African people, who bring such diversity and cultural richness to the world, have a unique place in history, with their roots deeply tied to biblical tales. First off, let's clear up a common misunderstanding. Despite what some might think, the Bible doesn't portray black people as cursed or inferior. In fact, it offers some interesting insights into their family tree, going back to Noah's son named Ham. Now, Ham is a big deal in this story. He's considered the forefather of African and black peoples. His descendants, including folks like Kush, Misraim, and Put, have left their mark across different parts of Africa, from Ethiopia and Nubia to Libya and beyond. The Bible often mentions Kush, connecting it to Ethiopia and the land of darkness, strengthening the link between Ham's family and African peoples. Let's talk about this so-called curse of Ham. This curse isn't about black people at all. It was actually directed at a guy named Canaan, one of Ham's descendants. Noah wasn't happy with Canaan's actions, it had nothing to do with his ethnicity. Now, Ham is portrayed as a respected figure who lived a long time, watching his descendants thrive across Africa. There's even a belief that his tomb is in Africa, showing how much he influenced the continent's history. Digging a bit deeper into the Book of Jubilees, we find out that Ham wasn't thrilled with Canaan settling in what we now know as Israel. This family disagreement highlights the difference between Canaan's actions and the broader Hamite family. In a nutshell, the Bible gives us a nuanced picture of Ham and his descendants, emphasizing their important role in shaping Africa. And here's the key takeaway, there's no biblical curse on black people. Their rich history and culture continue to inspire us today, showing how interconnected humanity is and reminding us of the impact of ancient civilizations.